Capricorns! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 22nd to the 31st. So those who are new to my channel, I always cover meditative session first before I go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle and the reading. Keep in mind, meditative sessions, I pick up energy that's in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or energy from someone within your environment or from someone you're energetically attached to. Hence, think of, talk about all that good stuff. And it is energy, so it is fluid, so it can be reversed. Capricorns. I don't want to be messing around with any Capricorns <laughs> for the rest of October. Uh, you guys are fed up. I think you guys are fed up. You've had it. You've had enough. You've heard enough. You've seen enough. Enough. Okay, you're out of patience, Capricorn. You're definitely out of patience. And I know you guys have had kind of a rough year. Jupiter is moving into Capricorn at the beginning of December. So Cappies, expect a big, big turnaround or some big opportunities coming your way. And of course, always check your houses as well to see where you have Capricorn sitting in your chart, okay? Because more likely than not, that is where you're gonna have some opportunities come into play, okay? Now, Capricorns, the first thing I heard <laughs> was one little, two little, three little. And I was like, oh, that is so fascinating. I'm pretty sure that's part of like a little like kid's rhyme. If I'm not mistaken, I'm like, I know I've heard it before, um, but I honestly feel like you're just, you're counting something. <laughs> I feel like you're counting bullshit. Like, I feel like someone's talking to you and you're not even listening. You don't want to hear them. You don't want to hear them talk. You're not even listening to them. You're not. You're, you're fed up. It's almost like you're, you're just like singing a song in your head like while this person's talking, um, others see like you're counting, you're counting instances, like you're counting lies, or you're counting like how many times someone's done you wrong, or how many people have done you wrong. It's like, you've just really had it Capricorns, you're, you're just you are fed up, you've had it. Um, I feel a major sense of impatience with you as well, a major sense of impatient, impatience, excuse me, impatience, and restlessness with you Capricorn. I also speak up on a lot of devil energy, which is your card, right? The tarot card is the devil, Saturn influence. So it's all that discipline along with other stuff, right? We don't, we know, we talk about the devil card. A lot of people talk about the negative stuff, but there's positive things too. Capricorns, you could be dealing with another Capricorn. I feel a stare down with that, to be honest with you. I feel a little bit of a stare down with that energy. I feel like you're kind of, you're wanting to go to head to head with some, well, you're not wanting to, you're head -butting. You feel like someone's about to challenge you or they're really close from walking across that line that they really shouldn't cross. And you're already kind of ticked off. You're already impatient. You're already a little restless. That's the last thing this person needs to be doing. Some of you are definitely butting heads with someone, without a doubt. Some of you, this could be family. Um, Capricorn can also be a very kind of like a parenting kind of an energy because of Saturn. It's that disciplined, right? Disciplined. <laughs> It's that discipline, right? You could be disciplining a child or feeling the need to. Um, but I definitely feel head to head. And for some of you, it's with a family member for sure. Okay. So Capricorns, essentially, you fed up, you fed up, you fed up. All right. And some people aren't getting the hint. They're not getting the hint. And keep in mind, guys, conflicts are pretty um, highly aspected for the rest of October, given the energies that we've been working with. And then when the new moon in Scorpio comes on the 27th, it's going to be a lot of towers a lot of towers, a lot of changes, a lot of sudden events. So Capricorn, and I, actually I said this in the Taurus video, earth signs are going to have a hard time with this new moon in Scorpio energy because it's it's going to require everyone to be very adaptable. And it's, it's hard for earth signs to be adaptable. Virgos are probably the best at it as far as the earth signs go. But Capricorn, you might struggle with that a little bit. So just keep that in mind, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here, Cappies. I'm getting more of that discipline energy with like a child, like child parent dynamic. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I feel like specifically that's got to be for Capricorn uh, mothers. I feel strong like mother to son, mother to son, mother to son is what I keep getting, mother to son. It's very specific. It's very, very specific. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn. So Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, I keep hearing one little, two little, three little. It's making me insane. I'm like, hey, I, you know, what is what I'm not sure exactly where I've heard it from before. Like, I mean, I guess with anything, right? Like when you hear a song and you're like, I know I've heard that before, but I don't know where it's from. That's why it's bothering me. One little, two little, three little. I, I really feel like you're just like counting the bullshit that comes out of someone's mouth. You might even like get so annoyed, Capricorn, you actually start calling it out. 
and being like, oh, you said this? Oh, no, you didn't. You said that. <laughs> oh, you want to tell me that? Oh, no, that's a lie because you said that. You're not, you're, like, you're like not letting someone get away with anything. Uh, please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn. So Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. It's trying to get comfortable. I have a hard time staying comfy on this chair. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn. So Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of family squabble. And I think this could also be because holidays are coming up. You know, so trying to make family plans is is, is proving to be difficult, Capricorns. And you're kind of just sick of it. You're sick of it. You also don't want to make the plan. You want someone else to do it. You don't want to do it. Placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October t I heard 12. Interesting. October 22nd to the 31st. <clears throat> oh, Cappies. Yeah, I, I, you're kind of telling people off right now, and you don't really care. You don't care. We've been kind of getting this energy with you for a little while here, Capricorns, of kind of like that slow build of like, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Well, now you're just telling people off. Now, now you've just, you've really had it. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sorry. <laughs> like I said, this chair's been making me very uncomfortable. Okay. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, Page of Wands. Yeah, something's acting up. Definitely some, some of you are like wanting to discipline a child more or a child's acting out or, you know, throwing tantrums more so than normal. And you're just like, what the hell? I did just hear terrible twos. Okay, so that could also be the case here. But this is also about communication. Communication, but it feels very naggy. I got to be honest. It feels very naggy. It's like, it's annoying you. Whatever this is, Capricorn, I feel like it's someone trying to talk to you or propose something to you, even flirt with you. And you're just kind of like, are you talking? <laughs> you're very annoyed capricorn you're very annoyed oh i oh some of you guys are pmsing sorry i'm just picking up on that so you, some of you guys are pmsing or you're on your uh you know you're on your your cycle here five of cups in reverse scorpio energy oh capricorn i i gotta be honest i feel a little bad for this person if they did bad shit they did bad shit but whoever's trying to talk to you they're trying to cut they're trying to get over some sadness here okay they're trying to get over some loss they're trying to how do I say this? If there, if something happened between you two, they want to put it behind behind both of you. But the way they're coming at coming at you is just annoying the hell out of you for some reason. You're very very agitated right now, Capricorn. And it's it's almost like I don't want to hear one more person talk. I don't want to hear one more excuse. I don't want to hear one more thing. You're very you're just very agitated, Cappies. Let's see here. Oh my. Oh, I feel like you're. Sorry. Capricorn, I feel like you're walking away in a huff. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I really don't mean to laugh, but it's just like, it's all, it is almost like uh, comical here. You have some, someone who's just trying to like, you know, light, I think this person's trying to lighten the mood. Yeah, Capricorn, this person's trying to lighten the mood, even be a little flirty, or this could be your child, you know, trying to like, just be like, you know, like a kid, like a happy kid to like, to dissipate some of the either tension or the sadness between between the two of you. Unpleasantness, we'll call it unpleasantness to dissipate that and you're walking away in a huff. You are, you're just like, I don't want to hear it. Stop talking. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear it. Oh my, okay. Some of you have been lied to a lot. A lot. Oh boy. King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air with the four swords, Libra energy. Whoever you walked away from in a huff, they ain't happy. They are not happy. And it's funny because they were approaching you like a page, even though they're acting like a king in reverse. As you walk away, you walk away and create this four swords energy with this person. Okay, this distance here. Four swords can also be an energy of taking a rest or a break. But I feel like you just went, stop, talk, like stop. I'm out. Don't want to hear shit. <laughs> like, don't want to hear, don't want to hear you talk. Like, very, very adamant. 
very adamant, very much like a page of swords in reverse, very, very blunt, very blunt. I really feel like you walked away in a huff, very much so. And this person was just kind of left like, like very, very triggered. I can feel it. This person's very triggered in response to you just not, not being able to deal with them. If you have a child, okay, for some of you who have a child here, um, there's something about the dynamic you have with the co-parents that is kind of difficult. What is this? They could just possibly not live in the same home as you and your child, but I, I do feel a co-parenting situation that I'm picking up here, okay? Um, definitely like, um, oh, that's what it is. So I was sensing like the mother, son, mother, son, mother, son. If you're the mother, you walked away in a huff and there's something about where the co-parent or the father, or like, you know, co-parent, the other person is kind of left in a state of like, well, <laughs> like a little stunned, like you, you can't just, you can't, you can't just do that. Like you, you can't just do that. You can't just do that. You just can't walk away. You just can't, you just can't walk away in a huff. Sometimes, sometimes the parent needs to walk away. I'm just saying. I'm just saying there are plenty of cases and we all know what they are where maybe the parent should have said, you know what? I tap out for the day. I really need you to step in and do something. There's something about where the co-parent is not happy about how you handled the situation with the child. Okay. That's definitely what I'm getting for some of you. Oh my God. Capricorn, what is going on? I think you've just hit your max Capricorn. I think you've hit your max. Maybe you need a break. For those where it's more of a romantic situation, and you didn't want to tolerate this person's excuses or bullshit. I do feel this energy of separation that's already kind of happened. And you didn't want to hear it. Show them the door. You were out. Peace. And I can't deal with your shit. And they're very pissed off about what you just did. They're very pissed off about it. But at the same time, they should have approached you like a king and not a page. So. Please. <laughs> yeah, you walked away. Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Uh, you could have even gotten in your car and just headed off. I'm like, you know what? I, I need some me time. I need some sanity in my life. I do feel a lot more communication coming in with this, though. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be hearing from this person. They're very ticked off at you, Capricorn, which is funny because it's like. I, I really feel like you you're harnessing an energy where I dealt with this side and the other from you and I'm done. If we're talking romantically like and I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And they're kind of pissed off that you just kind of decided that you were done or you decided to do that. I feel like you took your power back, Capricorn, if I'm being honest here. I feel like you took your power back and this person's really not happy about it. And they really do want to come come in and talk to you. But I feel like you're like, when, when you bounced, you bounced. You already have the Six of Swords. And for some of you, you tacked on an Eight of Wands on top of that. Um, yeah, someone's pissed off at you, Capricorn. But you know what, if if you hit your breaking point, because we all have been there, I would I would think at some point in time, if you hit your breaking point, you hit your breaking point. Better to better to call it better to just call it for yourself than to actually, you know, have it be worse, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but Capricorn, I'd say we're pretty good. I think the cards are pretty calibrated. We're at 13 minutes, I just noticed. So I was like, oh shit, let's get the reading started, okay? Capricorns. And anyone new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them as you heard me set the intention. Also, guys, we are working with energy and just know that energy um, is fluid. It's not linear. So messages can be reversed or vice versa. If it's resonating with you, you already know who you are in the story. So just pick who you are. OK, uh, also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. OK. Capricorn, some of you honestly were just like, I need to break them out and maybe you just took a little vacay or just a little day trip or just a day. Um, for those where you're dealing dealing with a child, specifically that mother-son energy I was picking up on, uh, I do feel like you kind of just walked away from the child and the argument for whatever reason or another. I'm not judging. I'm just telling you what I was getting intuitively. And the parents, the, the other parents, the co-parent is not happy how you dealt with that situation. But honestly, guys, sometimes... Sometimes you need to tap out. <laughs> Sometimes you do before you do something crazy, right? It's just true. Um, but mostly for those in a romantic situation, someone was trying to step to you in a page-like way, a very childlike way, almost like an energy of like not really addressing what had happened in the best of ways or even addressing it at all. And you just weren't having it. You didn't want to hear it. Even if they did address it, I'm getting an energy of excuses. Yeah, it's like just very childlike, like excuse, excuse, excuse. And it was like, 
you're going to step to me like that and you were already kind of at your limit with other stuff going on in your life, Capricorn, because I could feel it. You've been pretty irritated for a while. <laughs> We've been picking up on that for a couple of weeks and you were just like, you left in a huff, you slammed the door, whatever, and you were out and now they're pissed off at you and they want to talk again. <laughs> oh, Capricorns. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for October 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Cap Capricorns, some of you might end up taking like a secret vacay. I mean, secret's not even the right word. I think it's just more of like a, I really need to get the fuck out of here. Where am I going to go? And you book your plane ticket and you go. And you might not talk to people about it. You, because you, I think you're just in that state of like, I, I, I'm, at, I'm at my limit. Yeah, Capricorns, I can feel it. You're, you're just, you're, you're at your limit. You're, there's only so much you can take, right? For those with a romantic situation, I do feel for some of you, the reason that you're at your breaking point, you've been lied to one too many times by too many people, or you've been played too many times by one, like by too many people back to back, and that's also kind of made you just be like, fuck it, right? Any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Some of you could have left a job. Oh, sorry, that, um, that just came in really quick. Some of you could have left a job at the very last minute, like quit, I'm out, like not not even bothering to fully pack your desk, just being like someone said the wrong thing and you're like, you know what? I'm fucking done with this shit. And then you, you just get the hell out of Dodge. Hey, if you have to leave like that, you gotta leave like that. I mean, try not to burn bridges that way just for, to, for future references, like for references for work, try not to. Um, but if you did do that, I feel like the the your your boss, your supervisor, manager, whoever you want to call that, um, I feel like is actually very irresponsible. So I feel like maybe that you got a lot of stuff put on you, or there was a lot of things that were put on you or expected of you that were not your responsibility. And they could have said some snide comment or something like that about how you weren't doing the right job or how you might have messed up, and you were just like, I'm done. Moon in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. So something's coming out. Some truth is coming out here. A lot of clarity being bestowed upon you too, Capricorn. I think about the people you've been dealing with. But I do feel secrets. Ooh, we got the star. Aquarian energy. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? I'm getting public energy. Like, public eye? Wait, what is this? What is this? Some of you could be getting revelations about your destiny and your path. I love you, Capricorn. And it ain't where I was. <laughs> Good for you. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or someone who has a moon and aqua placement, but not necessarily. Or you could have that. You could, um, yeah, or you could have that. You could be a cusper. Yeah, I'm almost getting like secret celebrity. That's weird. That's got to be for like one or two of you. A secret celebrity here. Again, mostly revelations about your destiny and your path is what I'm getting here. Interesting. Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? I just heard overnight celebrity too. Overnight celebrity Capricorn, that's going to be for a couple of you. Or maybe just one, honestly. Probably just one. Although I don't know, I got a lot of people who watch me. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Any messages? Come on. Uh oh. We got justice. Libra energy. Ooh, Capricorns. I'm actually really loving this. I'm loving this a lot. The only thing that makes me a little nervous is I do almost feel like public um public justice a little bit here. Public justice. I don't know what that's about. Public justice. Um, I really hope none of you guys are gonna be part of like a big court case or anything like that. But I do feel like public eye and legality. Public eye and legality. Oh, that's interesting. Either way, Capricorns, it feels it feels positive. Overall, it feels really positive, whatever's coming out here. It does feel like it's part of your destiny, part of where you're supposed to go. And justice is here basically saying you're going to get what you deserve in a positive way, in your favor. Ace of Wands in reverse, though. Someone's missing out. You're winning and someone's losing. <laughs> I can't help but see that. You're winning here and someone's losing. That's like honestly what I got right away. You're winning and someone's losing. Someone's fire is being put out too. 
Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Someone's fire is being put out. Someone's fire is being put out. What is that about? Someone's fire is being put out. Hermit in reverse Virgo energy here. Capricorn, as you dip, I feel like you're chasing your destiny. You're chasing what you want. You're chasing what's going to make you happy, which is exactly what's going to get you to the place where you're supposed to be and get you what you deserve. But while you're doing that, though, it's like it's almost like someone's waking up. Someone's waking up to maybe have losing, having lost you or waking up to the understanding that you don't want anything to do with them. Ooh. Ooh, ow. Ouchie. Sorry, cross watcher um, or other person who's, you know, on the other end of this. But yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, you go off, you go and chase your dreams, you go and chase your happiness. Some of you that will result in, in public notoriety to some extent. And hey, some of you guys actually might be getting into politics. So you guys might actually be getting into politics. I can feel that pretty heavy. Either way, as you're doing this and you're on the go, you're on the run, someone's waking up to the idea that, oh shit, Capricorn wants nothing to do with me. Aye. Overall energy, we have the four swords in reverse, Libra energy. Oh, and of course we've got a magician. Mercurial energy, Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as reader, divine masculine energy with the seven of wands, Leo energy. This is really interesting, Capricorns. I feel like you put up a big, fat, energetic wall. You could have actually blocked this person on social media or, you know, blocked them on your phone, email, what have you. Because there is a magician here who's trying to break out, like, break out? No, cover the distance. Thank you. Cover the distance. Because you dipped. You dipped, Capricorn. You so dipped. You left someone in the fucking dust. Okay? Or you will be. Some of you haven't, a lot of you haven't come into this energy yet is actually what they're telling me. A lot of you haven't come to this energy yet. And this person is going to try really hard to get back in touch with you or to gain that distance. But you're going to be like, nope, mm -mm. nope, oh, <laughs> nope, stop, exact, halt, halt, halt with that Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire, halt. You ain't going nowhere. You are blocked. You got to stay still. Oh, oh, shit. Capricorn, seriously? I just heard restraining order. I don't like that. I was like, why is this legal here? Why is this legality here? <sighs> so I'm going to have to put a restraining order on somebody. If you're in that situation, you already like you, you already know this person is either abusive or just, you know, has no, um, you know, the thing, that word, boundaries, <laughs> no boundaries whatsoever. I did just hear a restraining order. Yeah, you, this, you, this person's not going to be able to. They're not going to be able to touch you, Capricorn, especially for those who are coming into the public eye for whatever reason or another, whatever it is that you're doing, whether you are in the public system, public justice system. Why is it coming out like that? That's weird. Uh, whether you're part of the legal system, I'll just say legal system here or politics, you might even be bringing up an issue to light, like to the public, making an issue very much aware. Either way, Capricorn. You're on the run, you're chasing your dreams, you're chasing your shit down, and with, as we get closer and closer to Jupiter going into Capricorn, you're going to feel more and more momentum pushing you to where you need to be to allow Jupiter to bless you, okay? Because I know you've had a tough year. Either way, they're not going to be able to catch up to you, and they're going to wake up and be like, oh shit, Capricorn wants nothing to do with me. Whoa, let's look over here. <laughs> let's look over here. Let's look at the moon in reverse. It is the moon, but it is in reverse. So, you know, so a lot of times when I try to clarify the moon, it can be a little vague, but let's give it a try. You, let's use gilded for this one. Talk about the moon in reverse. Talk about the moon in reverse for Capricorn. Talk about the moon in reverse for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. the moon in reverse for Capricorn some of you this anger that you've been feeling and like the leaving in a huff or slamming the door on someone in a huff it was the fire you needed it was the fire fire you needed for some of you to chase down your, your dreams and what you really want in life yeah it's interesting you know it's funny how things happen right <clears throat> I think some of you have been kind of in a rut for a little while or just feeling a little bit like something needs to change, something needs to change, something needs to change, either because it's been too difficult for you or it's just been so like draining. And I think that's exactly the push you needed. Time with the moon in reverse. Time with the moon in reverse. For Capricorn. <laughs> Spirit's so funny. I just heard Destiny's about to step in. Destiny's about to step in, Cappies. Time with the moon in reverse. 
Some of the moon in reverse. Hangman, Piscean energy here. Yeah, I'm getting more of that stagnant energy, more of that stagnation. Some of you, some of you have been battling with depression, Capricorn. Be mindful of that. I think some of you might not have been so aware, okay? Ooh, oh, ooh. <laughs> oh, Capricorns. Nine of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy, Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles, both Virgo energies. Nine of Pentacles is a pre-empress card for me as a reader. Whatever the stagnation is, you're breaking out of it. The Nine of Wands in reverse, you're breaking out of it and you're embracing blessings. What did I say, guys? When Jupiter moves, you're going to feel it. A lot of you, this probably won't transpire until the end of the year or even January, so just keep that in mind. But it's almost like you're going to be able to see it all of a sudden. It's like, Whatever this little kerfuffle is that made you so upset that you left in a huff or closed the door in a huff or you just needed, you just, you just, you just had to say no. You just had to say no. You just had to tell people to stop talking, just stop coming at me and you just bounce. Whatever it, whatever got you to that point, it's exactly what you needed. It's almost like you're breaking through the blockages. You're breaking through the energetic blocks by changing energy in a very quick way. And it's allowing for stability to come in. It's allowing for stability to come in. This is beautiful. Oh, Capricorns, I like it. Let's see what else we got here. Let's talk about the moon in reverse for Capricorn. Let's talk about the moon in reverse for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Oop, that's it. Overall energy. Ah, the star. Aquarian energy. You got the star twice, Capricorns. That's freaking beautiful. However, underneath that, we do have the devil. And I did see that when we were, um, I was picking up on that when we did the pre-shuffle and meditative session. Death in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Oh my. Five of cups in reverse. More scorpionic energy. And then we've got the ace of cups and then Jupiter. Jupiter. The wheel of fortune here. This is interesting. Capricorns, you guys are, you guys are getting wish fulfillment here. A lot sooner than you might think, I think because you guys have kind of felt stuck in a rut or felt very blocked off from your own abundance or blocked off from growing here. But Five of Cups in Reverse with the Ace of Cups, Death in Reverse, basically you're putting a lot of that past shit behind you and you're heading towards your destiny. For some of you, that destiny does include a new love interest here, okay? But definitely check your houses to see if Capricorn falls in any of your relationship houses or cancer because cancer is the seventh house to capricorn okay uh, but then we end with jupiter the wheel of fortune the wheel will turn as jupiter moves to your sign underneath that five of pentacles in reverse you're going to get out of these hard times you're going to get out of financial constraints and then six of pentacles you will be given a gift you will be given aid you will be given um help here and offers and you will find financial stability and stability nonetheless and then judgment it will be a blessing okay wow so Capricorn, whatever pressure you've been feeling to, to break away, to get away, to not be hearing certain people talk anymore to you, <laughs> I don't know why they were telling me, it. like, that's how it was coming in so clear for you guys, like, just stop talking, I, I just stopped, stop, like, just, just don't say another fucking thing, it's like, <laughs> some of you are definitely at that point, and either way, Capricorn, just listen to that and go with it. Even if you lose your shit a little bit and we got to walk away in a huff or quit your job on the spot, whatever that push is, it's clearly the push you need to come into your blessings here. Look at that. It's going to happen so, I feel like it's going to happen so quick for you guys. And again, when Jupiter moves to Capricorn. So like I said, think more like end of the year or like beginning of the year. Like, you know, December, January. Think more December, January, but you're going to feel this build of pressure up until then. Okay, from now until... I think it's on December 4th, if I'm not mistaken. From now until the first week of December, you're going to be feeling the slow, slow build, slow build, slow build, slow build, slow build. You're not going to be restricted anymore. It's going to be beautiful. Let's look at justice. And then we'll look over here. <laughs> I kind of, I got to be honest, I feel bad for this person. Could be doing the Virgo, but not necessarily. But let's look at justice. Mmm. 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 I'm using the Honest Truth deck, aka the Hot Ab Emperor deck. <laughs> it's funny that just became like the descriptor for this deck. So you can get it on Etsy, but I did notice that um, they are sold out. Sorry. It was a gift from the actual creator of the deck. Um, I don't think you can get it on Amazon, but it is called the Honest Truth deck if you can find it anywhere else, okay? Tell me about justice. 
for Capricorn. Tell me about justice for Capricorn. Oh, this is interesting. Some of you guys are actually... I heard workers comp, workers comp. Some of you guys are going to get a big payout from your job and it's around workers comp. That's interesting. Some of you might actually be taking um, your company to, to court for this. So maybe you've already started the process a while ago. Okay, but I did just pick up on that. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Capricorn. Tell me about justice for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about justice for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Okay. Tell me about justice for Capricorn. <laughs> As I say that. Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Some of you are definitely taking your bosses to court. Your boss is to court, your spouse to court, uh, or, ooh, your dad? Okay. Hey, everyone's got their own shit, right? And emperor-like energy is being taken to court for sure for some of you, okay? Emperor is just like, emperor is very patriarchal. It's someone who holds a lot of power, someone who usually runs shit, like runs a family, runs a company, manages a lot of shit, and also is someone who's been through a lot of shit themselves. They usually encompass all the kings at some point, okay? Um, but some of you are taking someone to court in that, in that energy, not all of you, of course. Um, others of you, you're just getting justice from someone who's very controlling. Ooh, pushy. I don't like that. From someone who is pushy, someone who is controlling, someone who kind of wanted you to kind of fall in line. Tell me about justice. Oh, I'd say so. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Uh, five of swords, Venus and Aquarian energy with strength, Leo energy and the knight of swords, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is someone who's very controlling, very, very controlling, very egotistical, a lot of mind games, a lot of mind games. And they're really, oh, a really awful mouth is what I'm getting too. They're not really careful in how they talk to people. You're getting justice against this person, whether it's an actual legal situation or just, you know, karmic justice. Either way, you're getting justice and I think you're going to get a mouthful from them about it. For sure. You're getting a mouthful from them about it. Let's see what else we got here. Hey, that's just too damn bad, isn't it? Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Capricorns, I love you. I don't have time for you. <laughs> I don't have time for your ass. Don't worry about justice for Capricorn. Let's see here. Wow. Three of Wands in reverse Aries energy. They're pissed off. Capricorns, they are pissed off that they didn't get what they wanted. Straight up. Overall energy. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. And then we have the Nine of Cups in reverse Piscean energy. They're pissed off that they didn't get what they wanted, Capricorn. Again, that's too damn bad. This person's incredibly controlling. Look look at this energy. Jesus. You have the control major arcana card, strength, five of swords, that like vi victory at all costs, from a very egotistical card at that, and then Emperor Universe, again, the epitome of control as well. Very controlling energy. And they will be speaking on how they haven't gotten what they wanted or what they feel they need, they deserve. But overall, look at this, Nine of Swords and Nine of Cups in Reverse. They're pretty freaking upset, Capricorn. Nine of Cups in Reverse, they're very disappointed. They feel like they're not getting what they want out of things. And Nine of Swords, they have a lot of anxiety about it. A lot of worry about it. I kinda wanna look more at this Justice card. Where are we at? Oh my God, we're at 34 minutes. Cappies, I always go long with you. I don't know why. We're gonna look at Justice a little bit longer. I can't help it. Tell me more about what this justice entails. Interesting. We got the key energy of 33 with the eight of pentacles. So it can involve work. A lot of you, this is this is justice around work or a boss or you know, workers comp. Some of you it is straight up legal justice. Others you others of you, it's karmic justice. I'm getting unlocking the truth here. Someone's gonna be exposed, Capricorn. Oh, someone's going to be exposed. Interesting. Tell me more about justice. Tell me more about justice for Capricorn. Tell me more about what this justice entails. 
for Capricorn, October 22nd to the 31st. Let's see what we got here. Interesting, we have House, King of Cups with the energy of four. So some of you, like I said, some of you did pick up on that dad or a patriarchal energy. Um, some of this is also revealing family secrets. Revealing family secrets. Also, I'm hearing establishment as well. Interesting, now we have the tree. Another family energy. Some of this is straight up going on in your family. Shit. Seven of Cups, and then we have the bear. 15 breaking down to a six. So progression energy, and then the ten of wands. Uh, the bear is like willpower. It's willpower, it's strength, it can also be control here, okay? Yeah, some of this is straight up in your family. Oh. Some of you might be finding about, out about an abusive relative, like physical abuse. Wow, that's intense. Tell me more about justice. And again, I'm not just getting family. I'm getting establishment. Establishment here. Um, I'm also hearing growing power. Hold on. Ah! Growing power with this. Growing power. Whatever this justice is and the way it's coming in for you, Capricorn, it's making you feel a hell of a lot stronger too. It's helping you grow your, um, your own confidence and your own inner power. Tell me more about justice. <laughs> with the female... Let's see. Nine of Pentacles and that Ten of Pentacles. Definitely feel like that's you, Capricorn. I feel like you're the one who's growing in your own power here because of this, because of whatever justice and exposure is happening. On the bottom, we do have the messenger with the Nine of Cups here, okay? Messenger is exactly how it sounds. It's basically communication on the move. I'm also hearing spreading the word. God, yeah, some of you, this is going to be a big exposure of some kind, whether it's just with... Whether it's just within your family or within your uh, work environment here, or maybe, you know, like I said, some of you could be in politics and you're exposing something really freaking big, okay? And it's actually going to put you in the public eye a little bit. So just be mindful of that. Either way, Capricorn, blessings, blessings, blessings are coming your way. Definitely as we get closer to more December and January. Okay, now let's look at this energy <laughs> with the Hermit Universe and the Ace of Wands Universe. I'm curious more about the Hermit Universe. I feel like this is... Um, Again, someone realizing, oh shit, they've lost you or that you really couldn't give a shit about them anymore. Not to sound so blunt, but that's kind of how your energy's coming off right now. Okay, uh, let's do spellcasters. That was calling me earlier. <clears throat> Ooh, get a little water, Cappies. Mm. Okay. So I have the Hermit in Reverse. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. So Capricorns, it's going to be an interesting little time for you. Keep in mind, time is, you know, not linear, guys. So whenever this, all this stuff plays out is when it plays out. Like, like I said, for a lot of you, it's going to be December, January, and you're just going to start feeling the pressure now or like little things are going to start happening now to get you here. But I see blessings, I see public eye stuff for a lot of you, or public notoriety for some of you. I see winning court cases for some of you. I'm seeing karmic justice <clears throat> from a very controlling energy, or very tyrannical kind of energy, whether that was just your boss, someone in your family, or someone that you were actually with romantically. If you're getting divorced, it's going to go through and it will work out in your favor. You will be coming into blessings many times over. If you've been struggling financially, that's going to be over as well. And some of you, I did remember I did hear restraining order. They won't touch you. They won't be able to get you. Don't even worry about it. Play about Hermit in Reverse. Play about Hermit in Reverse for Capricorn. And this controlling Emperor energy, they're just mad that they didn't get what they wanted. Boo hoo. <laughs> Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. And it's all it's all going to happen when you feel that burst, that pressure to be like, I need to get the fuck out of here or I just need to get away from these people, get away from this job. The second you just listen to that instinct, Capricorn, things are going to start happening by domino effect here. OK, uh, clarifying the Hermit in reverse. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy with the six and ones in reverse, Leo energy, Jupiter and Leo to be specific. I do feel hurt ego here. Someone's someone's looking at their failures. Oh, that's interesting. So, oh, Capricorn, I feel like this person tried to pull one over on you. Yeah, I feel like someone tried to pull one over on you or they're trying to figure out why they couldn't get away with something or why they couldn't get. Yeah, it's like why they couldn't win. 
why they couldn't win, why they couldn't pull one over on you, why they couldn't get the attention they wanted or have something happen a certain way. And by the time they come out of it, they realize the opportunity has been gone. So I'm about the Hermit in Reverse for Capricorn. Some of you, like I said, I picked up on the overnight celebrity energy. They're, they're telling me that again. And watch for your mail. I don't know what that's about. I just So it's something about mail. Watch your mail? I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Lovers. Interesting. Gemini energy here. Oh. Capricorns. Uh, this person loves you. It, it can also be a head over heart decision. I don't feel that, though, at all. I actually feel like love um wow king of pentacles okay i did not expect that from this person king of pentacles this is a taurian energy could also be earth or air with temperance in reverse uh sag energy cappies i i'm stunned because this this energy feels gentle is this someone else wait <laughs> it feels like a completely different person than hold on than this controlling awful energy it feels very different completely different completely different oh. whoever this is they're 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 quiet reserved we're more reserved than quiet is probably the best way to describe this person they just observe a lot they observe a lot um they take they they like to take in information a lot they don't like to give a lot of information which actually is but the best way to be just say um they're very grounded they're very intelligent too. Whoever the whoever I'm picking up here, they're very intelligent. They're they're gentle. Capricorns, we might have to look at this person a little closer because I think they're different than this emperor. I think there's a whole other person here. In temperance and reverse, they know that a situation is very imbalanced. They know a situation is very imbalanced. They're also a little impatient to get it fixed. Capricorn, I feel very strongly whoever this is, while you're dealing with the craziness that we already went through, this person was kind of off doing their own thing. <gasps> Why they couldn't get your attention. Oh my God. Oh, Capricorn, this is someone different. This is someone different. Th th they're wondering, they're wondering how, like, how they weren't able to get your attention. Because you were dealing with all this craziness. <laughs> you were doing all this crazy shit over here. And they're trying to figure out what to do about it. Oh, Capricorn. Oh, I feel for this person. Okay, let's see what else we got out here. Play more about the Hermit in Reverse. Because <laughs> they know you're dealing with an emperor. Oh my God. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Yeah, see, look at this. It's like they're keeping an eye on you, Capricorn. They see the crazy situation that you're dealing with, with that Temperance in Reverse and the Emperor. You guys are asking me if they're the same person. I really feel like they're different. They feel very different. Could this person go into hermit mode and change? <laughs> arguable. Very arguable. It just feels like such a different person. Very arguable. If they went into hermit mode to deal with this, it'd have to be a long ass hermit mode to get to this status. So I won't discount it. I won't discount it, but unlikely, very unlikely. I think they're keeping an eye on you, Capricorn, and I think they see the crap that you're dealing with, and they're kind of like, I need to figure out how to get Capricorn's attention. Tell me about Hermit in Reverse. Tell me about Hermit in Reverse for Capricorn regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. But you busy, Capricorn. <laughs> I mean, clearly, you are really busy. First of all, getting the hell out of Dodge from situations that have been making you insane and where you're not really appreciated. And some of you are dealing with some court case shit with like with your job or with your own family. A lot of family secrets are also coming out. And all at the same time, you're getting blessed and you're getting blessings after blessings after blessings, at least through December and January. You busy. You busy. So I bought Hermit in Reverse for Capricorn. Got two other cards that really want to come out here. Wow. King of Cups in Reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel, oh my God, Capricorn, are these three different people? most of you these are just two two energies two energies some of you got three. Oh my god capricorn when jupiter go when jupiter shifts i think you're gonna be very overwhelmed <laughs> you're gonna be overwhelmed you're gonna you're like not gonna know how to deal with all of this because all this i feel like is playing out for the next couple few months it's just getting started now 
it's just getting started now. The puzzle pieces are, are at play, are starting to get at play now. I feel like, hold on, let me try to hold all these cards up to explain to you what I'm seeing. So you've got this person here, very gentle, very grounded, very intelligent, and very, very, very observant, um, where it seems like a very, very intense little connection right there. And then we've got temperance in reverse with the emperor, king of cups in reverse, and the ace of pentacles. You are dealing with someone who is in balance through with this emperor energy. We already know that. <laughs> we know that. Someone who's very, very controlling. Okay. We know that. That has been established. And I feel like this king of pentacles knows it. And they are kind of watching you a little bit. They're keeping tabs on you. And then we've got this king of cups in reverse over here with ace of pentacles. Someone who really wants a beginning. Some of you... This emperor and the king of cups in reverse is the same person. King of cups in reverse is someone who's not exactly stable themselves, not exactly emotionally stable. Either way, you've got people who want you, okay? And they're trying to figure out how to get to you. They're trying to figure out how to get to your attention, get your attention. This emperor, unfortunately, a lot of negative attention and you're going to deal with this person. And if it requires a restraining order, there will be a restraining order. Either way, you're getting karmic justice from that person, even if it's just a boss that you had to deal with, Okay. But you got at least one person here who seems really nice. I'm just saying. Very nice. Very nice little quality person over here. Over energy for the Hermit in reverse. Strength. Leo energy. This feels really warm, actually. I really like it. Usually strength to me is an energy of control. It just feels warm. It feels warm. It feels confident. Almost Empress-like. I feel like this is actually just kind of representing you at Capricorn. You could have a Leo placement, but not necessarily. But you see how she's riding that lion? It's kind of hard to not look at her. Actually, just I'm getting Lady Godiva with this kind of energy too. You're being seen as someone who's incredibly strong, Capricorn, during this time. And I think because of everything that you're dealing with, some of you, like I said, it's court stuff. Others, it's family stuff and court stuff. Some family secrets coming out. You are just like, I'm out. Fuck this. I can't take it anymore. Some of you just do a secret vacation or a secret getaway. Um, and then on top of it, blessings are being bestowed upon you. Some of you are getting into politics. Some of you are bringing political issues to light and you're getting public notoriety from that. Some of you are becoming overnight celebrities, probably because of Jupiter. All right. So again, just check where Jupiter falls in your chart. Either way, you're you're kind of in the light and you're hard not to look at and you're being seen as someone who's incredibly resilient incredibly strong you got at least one person here who's i just i love this energy it feels so yummy i just gotta be honest feels really really yummy other and then you still got this freaking controlling ass emperor who still kind of wants you and is still trying to get at you and some of you got a third person who's not stable themselves who kind of wants something stable with you and there's some of you who have a restraining order in place against, the, I feel like it's the emperor, has a restraining order against this emperor who's dying to get at you. They ain't going to get you. Okay. Wow. Capricorn. This is a lot. I'm kind of scared to do Capricorn readings up until the, the rest of the year, considering where this is only October. And I know Jupiter is going to be doing a lot of stuff, but wow. Wow. Okay. Let's get some advice. Oh, that's so weird. A card got left behind. Oh, interesting. Four of Pentacles in reverse. You might be giving a lot of your money away. For those who are coming into big, large sums of money, I feel like you're keeping it secret. Please do. If you come into big sums of money, especially if it's from a court settlement, please keep it a secret. Um, but some of you might be giving some of your money to charity. I was just picking up on that with that card. Okay. Any advice for my Capricorns? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding the spread? I feel like you're going to be busy. Oh, <laughs> counting. You're, I was about to say counting your money, and I flash back to the beginning of the reading to counting. Some of you might literally just be counting your money and be busy doing that. Congratulations if you are. <laughs> wow. That's, that's kind of a nice problem to have. Any advice for Capricorns regarding the spread? Just breathe, Capricorn. Just breathe. Just breathe. Any advice? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? It's very quick. 
Ooh, nice. Wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. 67, breaking down to a four. Look at where you're coming from, is what I just heard, Capricorn. Look at where you're coming from. A lot of you, like I said, have been in a rut or have had uh, bleh, eh, bleh. <laughs> issues with money, issues with your career, issues with family, issues left and right. Some of you guys have had a really, really tough year. And as, as I said, as we get closer to Jupiter, I mean, my God, the, even the cards just scream it. Hold on. I can't pick this up. As we get closer to Jupiter, look at this. This is seriously coming out from under it. This is skyrocketing from being at rock bottom, okay? Take those lessons with you, Capricorn. Not only are they going to come in handy, but um, I feel like for a lot of you, it's also going to be part of your blessings. I don't know why I feel that way. Like you might just be teaching people. Thank you. That's what it is. You might just be teaching people about um, the things you've been through to help other people get out from where you've been before. Does that make sense? Um, I feel a big teaching energy with this, Capricorn. Um, I'm also getting a little bit of you know, as you come into these blessings and stability for yourself, um, how do I say this? How do I say this? Uh, you're learning that it wasn't for nothing. You're learning that your struggle wasn't for nothing and that your struggle wasn't in vain. And it was very important for you to struggle like this to get to the point of where you're going to be. I know, talk in future in the past with the present. I know. All right, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> Ooh, very nice. Dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. 22, which is a master number. And grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. 30, breaking down to a three. I'm getting communication off of that uh, with the th with the energy of three. Uh, there's also an energy of the fool card for me as a reader. Dragonfly is very intuitive. Like I said, Capricorn, a lot of truth is going to be coming out. And for some of you, that quick, like, getting the hell out of Dodge, whatever you're, whatever's making you do that, whatever's making you feel the need to do that, trust it trust it this is a big ass quick leap okay and your alarm bells are going to go off more and more than that you're just going to be like at the end of your rope at the end of your tether and just be like you know what i'm fucking out i'm out i'm out i don't want to hear you i don't need to hear you i don't want to put up with your bullshit excuses i don't need to be here anymore i don't want to live here anymore whatever it is pay attention to that nudge pay attention to that pressure because it's going to catapult you into some major blessings and where you need to be Okay, let's see what else we got here. Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Some of you seriously are going head to head with someone in court. I like, I can't get past that. Ooh, oh, you would not believe what just landed on that King of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Oh, perfect. Ant spirit, time to collaborate. I seriously landed right on top of the King of Pentacles here. This King of Pentacles might be part of your blessings to come. Like I said, for some of you, it will uh, involve a romantic interest of some kind. We picked up on that already. For some of you, here, here they are. Okay, <laughs> here they are. Uh, for those dealing with some major court shit or political stuff, this person might be helping you a lot in that arena. A lot. King of Pentacles, I'm getting a big providing energy here. This person, I think, has a lot of resources. This person has a lot of resources, Capricorn. Um, for those where this is an actual man, because it could also be a woman. Um, <laughs> I just heard sugar mama. Anyway, for those where this is an actual man, there's something about them that's so <sighs> traditional, but ma like very, very traditional masculine. Very tr traditional masculine and something about them that's a powerhouse, but they're gentle. Oh, Capricorn, who is this? Can I get one? <laughs> Can I get one, please? Um, yeah, they're a powerhouse. Capricorn, for some of you, you might actually be shifting into like a new career change. They keep telling you politics for some reason. And that's where you might meet this person. And then you two might end up collaborating together or working together and then things just take off. This per I like this person like is commanding so much of my attention. I kind of want to do more cards. I want to do cards on this person, but we're at 54 minutes and that was just too much. Okay. Either way, Capricorn, whoever this is, you de I don't think you've met them yet. I don't think you've met them yet. If you have, they've really been at a distance because I do feel for some, it's like at some point they will have eyes on you at some point. I don't think they do right now. Anyway, sorry. I don't know if you like felt the vibration as I said that, um, Take that as confirmation. That was weird. It was almost like, like the building got hit with something. Anyway, 
yeah, for a lot of you, as the energy stands now, like as I'm filming today, I don't think you've met this person. Um, I think you will at some point. If you change work environments, you're definitely going to meet them there. For sure, you're going to meet them there. Whenever this person comes into your life, things will just, things will start changing. Things will start changing. You're going to feel that pressure cooker. You're going to have that moment of getting the fuck out of Dodge. And this person, I think, is going to be helping you a lot along the way. And things are just going to blossom for sure. Wow, I like that. Overall, antelope spirit. What did I say? Things are going to take, you're going to take off. You're seriously going to take off Capricorn. Life is speeding up with the energy of two and B spirit. Sweet results await with the energy of seven. Oh, Cappies, I love it. I freaking love it. You're chasing down your destiny here. You're chasing down your destiny, your wish fulfillment. You're chasing down, if I can pick up these cards, you're chasing down your abundance. Jupiter is going to bless you. Enjoy it. Enjoy it and be ready for it too. Be ready for it, Capricorns. Prepare yourself. Like I said, check your charts. Decide and decide now exactly what it is you want so you can help manifest it when Jupiter moves and you have that opportunity, okay? All right, Capricorns. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Cappies. Namaste.